Okay, we're going to be looking at this number line to answer our questions. But before we begin, we need to see what is our number line divided into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count my intervals from one hole to the next hole, either between 3 and 4 or between 4 and 5. So between 3 and 4, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this number line is divided into 8s. So I'm going to actually relabel this in terms of 8s. 2 and 1 half is actually equivalent to 4 8s because 2 times 2 times 4 is 8. So 1 times 4 is 4. And I'm going to do the same thing here. 3 and 4 8s. And the same thing here. 4 and 4 8s. When I'm doing that now, I'm going to look at the question. It says Michelle recorded the total number of hours she spent practicing basketball over the last 10 weeks. She looks at the five weeks she practiced for the greatest amount of time. What is the average amount of time that Michelle spent practicing for those five weeks? So again, it's looking for the greatest time over five weeks. So this is the greatest, and that's one week, so I'm going to write four plus, now here's the second week with the greatest amount of time, and that's three and one eight, two eights, three eights. So three and three eights, and then here plus, and that's one week, two weeks, here's three, four, and five, and those are at three and one eighth. Um, and I can do three and one eighth times three. So now what I'm gonna do is I have four whole plus three and three eighths plus. Now for me to multiply this, the simplest way to do is to actually turn this into a uh, mix, an improper fraction. So three times four is 24 plus 1, that makes my new numerator 25 eighths. So now I'm doing 25 eighths times 3, which equals 75 eighths. And now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it up. 3 plus 4 is 7, and 75 plus 3 is 78 eighths. Now once again, I need to figure out the average, which means I'm going to be dividing, and in order to divide, I want to have this as a um, as a improper fraction. So 7 times 8 is 56, so I'm joining 78 and 56, which 8 plus 6 is 14, carry my 1 is 13, so 134 eighths. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that by 5 data points. Now I know the rule for dividing is going to be keep, change, and flip. So I'm going to keep this at 134 eighths, and I'm going to multiply it by 1 fifth, which is my reciprocal. So this becomes 134 fortieths. So I need to think about division. How many times can 40 go into 134? And I know that that is 3 times, because 3 times 40 is 120, which is going to leave me with 34 fortieths left over. So, I need to think, well, what do I know about 34 fortieths? Since they're both even, they could definitely both be divided by 2, which would make this 17 twentieths. So my answer is going to be 3 and 17 twentieths. Now let's look at the next question. My next question says, Jill compared the greatest amount of time spent practicing to the least amount of time. What operation would I perform? Well, if I compare the greatest to the least, I'm going to subtract. That's my operation. Next question. What is the difference between the greatest amount of time and the least amount of time? Well, the simplest strategy I can tell you is if I know where the number line is divided into eights, I can just count my eights. One, eight, two, eights, three, eights, four, eights, five, eights, six, eights, seven, eights, eight, eights. 8, 1 and 1 eighth, 1 and 2 eighths, 1 and 3 eighths, 1 and 4 eighths, 1 and 5 eighths. That should be my difference. But let's go ahead and actually perform subtraction to see. So my greatest point is at 4 whole, and I'm subtracting, and my smallest point is at 2 and, if this is 4 eighths, then this is 3 eighths. 2 and 3 eighths. Well, if I look here, I don't have a fraction, and I need to be able to subtract 3 eighths. So I'm actually going to turn this into 3 whole, and this into 8 eighths. So 8 eighths minus 3 eighths leaves me with 5 eighths, and 3 minus 2 is 1. 
that's what we've got before. So when we compare using subtraction or when we compare counting our intervals, we still got the same answer of 1 and 5 eighths. Now let's look at the next one. The next one says, what is the total amount of time spent practicing over the entire 10 week period? Okay, so now I'm just going to go and I'm going to add up all my data points. So I have 2 and 3 eighths plus 2 and 4 eighths plus 2 and 5 eighths right there plus 2 and 7 eighths. And now I'm moving on to 3 whole. So I have 3 and 1 eighth times 3 plus 3 and 3 eighths plus 4 whole. And now I'm just going to go through. The very first thing I want to do is turn this into improper. And so 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1. My numerator is going to be 25. And 25 times 3 is going to be 75 eighths. So now I have 2 and 3 eighths plus 2 and 4 eighths plus 2 and 5 eighths plus 2 and 7 eighths. Plus, and again, 3 times 25 is 75 eighths, plus 3 and 3 eighths, plus 4 whole. So now I have this all written out, and I need to add it up. First thing I'm going to do is look at my fractions, and I'm going to add my numerators. When I add them, I actually like to add them going vertically. So I'm going to rewrite them. 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 75 plus 3. 3, 4, 5, 7, 75, and 3. Okay, so 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12, plus 7 is 19, plus 5 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So now I have to drop down to 7, and I'm going to carry my 2, and now I have 97 eighths. So, 97 eighths. And now I'm going to count. 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 4 is 15. So how many times can 97 go into 8? 97 divided by 8 can go in one time, which leaves me with 17, which can go in two times. It's going to leave me with 1 eighth as a remainder. So plus 12 and 1 eighth going to equal 27 and 1 eighth as her total. I'm going to stop there. I wish you luck for the rest of the night. Good luck with your homework.